What's up guys, More Medic one here, and you guys have messaged me and commented and to the point to where I've got to do this video so y'all leave me alone. <laughs> Just kidding. But anyway, back a couple of years ago, I bought a brand new Spartan. It's a 22 model, uh, the RZHD in a 48 inch cut to cut my acre and a quarter out here where I rest my little head but anyway hey i'm gonna do a little walk around with it um show you the modifications that i have done to it and just give my opinion so a two year later and opinion. i tell you what i do like and what i don't like and y'all can make a decision whether or not you'd like to have one of these or not let's take a look now it's starting to rain actually but in my honest opinion, the Spartan RZHD, which what this model is, uh, it's not a full-blown commercial machine, and it's not a cheap homeowner machine. It's kind of middle of the road. But let's start here with the casters. They're, of course, they're uh, they're welded uh, casters, strong with pneumatic front tires dual rollers and a roller on each side of that seven gauge deck and as you can tell we got a little bit of grass build up but you'll have to blow off once you're done mowing and it's been so wet here in north texas that if you don't mow you'll never get caught up so we have to wait till it dries out just a little bit, but it never dries out. So what are some of the pros? Lots of pros. Love this seat. It's very ergonomic. The handles, they're adjustable. You can remove those bolts and you can move the handle up and down. All of your controls are right here. Your throttle, your choke, your PTO, your start button, all right within your reach of your right hand. You don't have to be fumbling around like some mowers have the choke and the starter between your legs. I don't like that at all. Instead of having dual saddle gas tanks, it's just got one nine and a half gallon fuel tank on the left side it's got a fuel gauge to tell you how much gas you have in it and you have a foldable ROPS and the power plant is a FR 691 V and it does not come factory with the cyclonic air filter or the dual element air filter I actually got this from thepowerequipmentman.com he sells the kit for the FR 691 that has the, the canister filter the rain cap factory rain cap actually and the hose that goes to the carburetor it's a real super easy setup the seat is rubber mounted here on four thick rubber mounts and when you fold the seat down it actually sits on more rubber mounts here there is a kit that you can buy to where i think it mounts here also that utilizes more cushioning and more dampening but that's an accessory that i haven't got yet it's got dual direct drive parker wheel pumps and wheel motor combinations super easy to work on there's the battery it's only got two fuses wiring harness and wiring the electrical system is super simple on this all right so as far as upgrades or factory modifications that i've personally done to it i have got the two inch receiver back here i don't plan on you know towing a big trailer or anything like that i always just tow a 
little spreader or maybe a little yard cart. I did put the extended foot pedal for the deck height adjustment. Normally it's about right here. As you can tell, it moves it back, especially for tall, long-legged fellers like myself. And the last modification, like I mentioned earlier, was the heavy-duty dual element air filter, which I love. Now for the bad news. Here are some of the things that I really don't like about it, but it does not hinder the way that it operates or any of the cut quality. But as you can tell, it's got super low clearance on for, for ground clearance. You only got a couple, three inches. Let's see if I can back up here, you can see better. That frame comes all the way down and kind of makes it difficult sometimes whenever you get into a, a sticky situation where you might need a little bit extra ground clearance. The only other gripe that I have, and I've learned how to take care of this better, is the keypad. Uh, I did have to replace this one under warranty last year. It got to where the buttons would not push and it just wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't start up. No problem replacing it. All you had to do, I just called my dealer and said, hey, my keypad won't work. And they said, well, come get one and bring the old one. So that's what I did. This one's working fine for the last year. Uh, I don't know, I think it's just maybe got some water in it, but it's supposed to be waterproof, but I always keep it blown off and I'll wipe the buttons down with some, uh, you know, some armor all or something like that. A lot of times these plastic parts will just absolutely sun rot, but I, that was my fault just takes normal 16 and a half inch cut with a 5 8 center hole blade you can find blades anywhere uh same blades that fit this will fit a hustler it'll fit a uh a, a bad boy matter of fact i think bad boy's part number is the same as this part number. the center floor comes up for belt maintenance and so you can blow it out easier One thing that kind of irks me just a little bit is the lack of grease zerks. There aren't any on the spindles for the or the casters. There's there's none for the wheel bearings on the front wheels. The, and the spindles don't have grease zerks. The only grease zerk is on the idler arm for the deck engagement. There's one back in there. And then there's two on the trailing arms that actually make the deck rigid. And those grease surfs are just right up under there. Alrighty guys, hey, I hope you like this little walk around. I love it. It's a good little inexpensive mower for the, for the money. It's the, to me, in my opinion, is the best mower you can get as far as uh, the price point that it is. They make more, way more expensive commercial mowers and so does other, you know, brands. But the Spartan, thumbs up, buddy. Y'all have a good rest of your day. More Medic One.